Last week, as I was building my mobile application that I just launched into the App Store that I plan on scaling to $20,000 in monthly recurring revenue, I was hit with a wide range of bugs that riddled my application. I hit my limit and there was two weeks left for the month and I needed to launch this app today. So I anxiously went on the internet and began searching for the cheapest way possible to get an AI agent. And lo and behold, I see a title screen that says $3 for your first month and then 10 after and you get 900 premium request credits included now that was unheard of in this industry and in an industry with unrealistic caps and with false promises that looked too good to be true so i enter the link and lo and behold it's an old friend trey ai which is an ide that i previously made a video on but looked completely unrecognizable today they had updated the ide so much that it looks like a completely different product now i previously loved trey ai because it was a very simple product and at that time it was a good bang for your buck but today Trey AI and the Trey team took it a whole step further with their new feature their new solo mode with their solo coder and solo builder and these two agents can take your idea from zero all the way to a finished deployed product in one single session. Payment integration with Stripe within a click of a button. Yes, it is so hard to get Stripe into your app, but somehow, some way, Trey have simplified it down to being a single click of a button. And if you already have a large scale project and you just wanna refactor, re-architect and change up and fix some bugs like I was gonna do, Solo Coder is a crazy agent that is very smart and very capable paired with the best models in the industry. Today's video, we're gonna refactor an entire website using the Trey AI IDE and specifically Solo Coder so I can showcase the new solo mode that they have, which is absolutely incredible and it's geared towards professionals, software engineers, and vibe coders alike. So without further ado, let's get started. Now we are here inside of the Trey AI IDE, but we've chosen the solo mode. Up here, you can click on solo. And the idea of solo mode is where you can begin engaging with the agent directly, orchestrating it, allowing the agent itself, like Solo Coder, to multi-orchestrate different agents that you've created. Now we are gonna create some agents here. I've already created a set of them. I've been using this tool a lot. I have a bug hunter agent and I have a React UI agent that basically go in and are called whenever they are needed by coder. Now imagine agents are subject matter experts of certain parts of your code base. One could be for TypeScript React, one could be specifically for QA or bugs, one could be for super base bugs, and they are all orchestrated using a single agent called coder. And the beauty about Trey and how they've set it up, they make it super user friendly to enable agents like coder to orchestrate different agents. Now in this video, we are going to be refactoring my support page for my mobile application. Currently, the Chupi support page looks like this. It's very ugly, it's in basic HTML, and we wanna refactor it into a React TypeScript application. Now, if you've used Cal AI, I absolutely love the way their website is set up. So we are going to get some inspiration from Cal AI right here. So let's get started with refactoring this basic HTML website into a beautiful React TypeScript app that will show the beauty and value of this mobile application and do it justice. Okay, so I've created what I think is a great prompt to refactor this code base. But before we click enter, there are two things that this solo coder and solo mode provide in this IDE. First of all, plan mode. Plan mode is a mode that is essential in every IDE that you use. If your IDE doesn't have plan mode, completely delete it, put it in the recycling bin, it's trash. Plan mode minimizes hallucination and keeps you on the same page as your agent when developing. If you're not using plan mode at the beginning of big refactors or big ideas, down the road while you're developing things, you will see that your agent might start steering off, it'll start hallucinating, adding different features, and that's not the fault of the agent, but more on the model providers and the models like Claude, Anthropic, and OpenAI. So plan mode is always, always essential when you're doing something big like this because you want to be, again, on the same page as your agent and it allows you to clear up any assumptions that your agent might have. Furthermore, what Trey has in their IDE is this enhance or optimize prompt. Now, of course, who knows better than an agent themselves? You and I know ourselves better than anyone else. So we're going to let an AI 
optimize the input to make sure that we have the best result possible. Now, while it's doing this, and even if it does finish, I want to show you all how you can create different agents right here. So here I've created the bug hunter and the react UI agent. So these are two agents that I've created and can be callable by the solo coder agent. So the solo coder, you can think of it as the product manager, the engineering manager. It's the main agent that handles every iteration, bug fix and refactoring. But when needed, when it thinks that it needs some help, it can call on other agents that, as I said, are subject matter experts. They're professionals. They're honed down to a certain context, such as the React UI engineer. It focuses on React based knowledge. It will call it and bring in that knowledge to help it work on the certain problem. Now, if you want to create an agent, you just click on create here. And the beauty of it is all you have to do is just add this one sentence, click generate, and it will take 10 to 20 seconds for this agent to be generated. And once it's done, you will see your agent. It will add a name, a master prompt for it. It will add some identifiers for you to see and when to call this agent. And you can specify when exactly you want solo coder to call this agent for you. You can create it and you can let solo coder call it. So now solo coder has it in its toolbox. So it can call these different MCPs and different agents to help it do its job. Now, without further ado, let's click enter and see what it can do. So now it's just going to create a plan in a markdown file. It's not adding any code because we specified that we want to go into plan mode. And yeah, and then once it's done, it was pretty quick, didn't take long. You can see the entire plan right here. So you have the setup and once you've clicked execute, it'll begin creating a task list for itself so it can keep track of the things that it has to do. And we have it ready to go. Now, if you want to check the website, you can easily just go on the browser here and do local host 5173 and you will see your React app directly there. Okay, so after a single shot, this was one prompt. This is what we have. I didn't change anything, by the way. There it is, that's the prompt. And we can tell here, substantial improvement from what we used to have. It has a better landing page, a nice cursor. Now, granted, there are some errors here, but we can fix these very, very easily. We can click on the selection mode. And if there's anything here you dislike, you can add it to the chat as context and you can tell it to fix them. So I've just told it that I see these element twice. Please fix them or remove them. And it can easily pinpoint where the problem is and take it out and change it. Furthermore, we can actually also remove things. So if I click on this and say that, I'm going to add that to the tag. I'm going to remove that launch list right here. I can go in and remove this, remove this. Dip. And you can tell how fast that was. I was just clicking and telling it what to edit. And it was very, very simple and straight to the point. And I've added these images in here. There we go. We had thoughts ready to go for us. So I've added this PNG to actually remove this SVG file that it has generated. I want to use the PNG that I have brought because it looks much better. And this probably navigates over to the Chupi. There we go. That's what we need. We have a beautiful carousel that shows the different features of the application. I absolutely love that. And there we go. That's basically what I wanted to do. I wanted to refactor this and make it look better for my users when they visit this. This is what it previously looked like. And I did this very quickly on cursor. Honestly, I didn't really pay attention. And this is what it looks like right now with a simple couple of prompts. I've been recording for about 30 minutes now, and that's including pauses and sometimes I would basically look away for a while because I'm doing something else on the screen. Could have done this in 10 minutes maximum. I just wasn't really paying that much attention. And what's incredible is once you're ready to go, you can click this deploy button and deploy the latest version of your application and you can visit it on a Vercel deployed instance. The fastest way you can go from zero to the deployed app on any other IDE and it's absolutely incredible. And solo coder is the one to do it if you want to do it because it's the smartest, it's the fastest. You can see how fast it was. It was going like crazy when I was using it. And it's also one of the most capable multi-agent orchestrators out there. Furthermore, if I wanted to, I could have let it run with this task and added a new task right here 
to focus on other things while Solo Coder was working on the refactoring and recreation of this website. What's great is you can host and add multiple tasks in different instances of Solo Coder. So for example, if we were working on this refactor of the website right here, we can add a new window here that said like add a button for dark mode and we can optimize this input, send it out. We can go back to the refactor website, increase the size of the logo on the and then these two things are working at the same exact time. That's what's interesting about this. You can add as many tasks as you want. You can add another one, for example, right? redesign the nav bar and make it better by aging. And then, for example, here, it refactored the website. It increased the size of this. We're back on here. It's examining the code base, adding context to itself, and then adding a toggle for the dark mode. Here, we see that it called the UI UX visionary. It looked at the nav bar and it's gonna redesign it for us. And there we go. We've implemented a redesign here where you can toggle between light mode and dark mode. I really like this little moon that they've created in sun. And yeah, very, very simple, very fast, very efficient. And I absolutely love it. But that's it for today's video. That's it for the Trey AI IDE and the Trey Coder. If you're as excited as I am about this new player in the industry, this affordable, affordable sidekick to your programming and vibe coding journey, leave a like and a comment and tell me what you think about Trey down below in the comment section. I'm very excited to see what you guys think. I always love to reply to the comments and interact and have conversations and, you know, just in general, learn from everybody's experiences. You could be anywhere in the world right now doing anything, but you chose to watch this video. So I really appreciate it. Be safe, be well, and I'll see you guys on the next one.